Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Raval and thank you for watching today's video. Today, as I promised you two videos ago, I'm going to show you my Dark Zone solo build that I'm running when I'm playing inside the Dark Zone and mostly when I want to like clear landmarks very fast and at the same time make sure that if something goes wrong and a rogue agent appears or a manhat appears or whatever, I can still take care of myself and protect myself, right? When it comes to the weapon, I decided to go with a Carbine 7 because of the 800 rpm that it has the 85.2k damage which is a decent amount of damage and because it has pretty decent rolls on my attributes on my current attributes so i decided to go with this one another good choice of course is the acr which has a higher damage but lower rpm which means that the strength talent it's gonna be more effective so say you're gonna have those five stacks for a longer time and you're gonna have those five stacks on the carbine 7 because of the higher fire rate and you're gonna run out of bullets faster pretty much so yeah the acr is also another good choice if you want to go with it my ar is only for killing npcs pretty much right if a rogue appears or if i decide to go rogue then i'm gonna use my vector except if that guy or if that rogue is in a very long distance which means that i will have to use my carbine 7 but well, as soon as the enemy gets closer i'm gonna change to the vector the vector is br 9 millimeter has 1200 rounds per minute which is like i think it's the fastest weapon in the game 60.5k damage which is lower than a lot of other smgs but the rpm is so high that you just melt everybody as you can see i have two max walls with smg damage and stability and 60 percent critical hit chance yes i could have gotten better rolls here i could have gotten a max critical hit chance and a different attribute because stability is not really that important on the smgs and i'm using the sadist talent which uh, deals 20 percent weapon damage to bleeding enemies and i'm actually using the sadist talent here here because now i don't have the right talent here excuse me for that because we want to run the stinker hive right now we want to use a stinker hive because it applies bleed status effect on affected targets so as soon as somebody goes rogue on us we can then drop down our stinker hive very quick and start shooting on them with the 25 percent extra damage or, or 15 excuse me with the 20 yeah with a 20 percent extra damage because of the saddest talent that's why i'm using the saddest talent here if we go to the stats you will see that that for my ar i have 85 percent weapon damage 36 percent clicker hit chance which can get up to 46 with my coyote mask 105 kill damage and 95 percent headshot damage and if we go to our vector we have another 52 percent critical hit chance 105 percent critical hit damage and 89% headshot damage. Moving on to the items, the Coyote Mask, simply because it offers us some more critical hit chance and some more critical hit damage, and it has almost, it's almost a god roll. On our backpack, I'm using a Gila Guard piece. We're using two Gila Guard pieces actually in this build because we want the 5% armor and the 10% health, which is not as essential, but really, what, 511 gives us another 10% health. I wanted another like, blue so to say item uh, that would give me armor and i didn't know what i could go for here to be honest i think that going for two gila guards is, is the best choice here you, you can also go for a group of sombra for that 15 percent critical hit chance and get a core attribute of 170k armor if you want to do that but me i decided to go with two gila guards we have a uh, full core attribute of armor 11 percent critical hit damage some skill haste honestly my backpack could be a lot better as you can see but my backpacks are pretty shit, I would say. When you come, I mean, all my backpacks are like, I have good red backpacks, but no good blue backpacks. So I need to farm some more. But still, this works pretty good with a clutch talent. Uh, we just want that extra repair in case we're like we're getting very low and stuff like that. On our vest, of course, we have a Providence defense piece here. We have the unbreakable talent because, as I said, we want to survive for as long as possible, both on PvP and on PvE. Uh, the the unbreakable talent, it's gonna get like it's gonna be more effective on the pvp since on pve we're not gonna deal with any like huge issues here we have uh, a fenris uh, piece for our soul rifle damage with 13 percent weapon damage headshot damage and critical hit chance the reason that i didn't go for the second provident defense piece is because i already get 10 percent critical hit chance from my 
watts from my SHD watts and since I'm already at 50% with my SMG when I use my Coyote mask when I proc my Coyote mask talent then it's gonna be like to 70 so it's gonna be maxed out to 60 so that 10 extra percent that we would get from the providence difference would be totally useless right so i'm using uh the defenders group ab for that 10 percent assault rifle damage we have some decent rolls here so as you can see moving on on our knee pads as i told you here is the second gila guard piece and i'm using as i said a second gila guard piece because it's pretty it has guard rolls full armor full critical hit damage and 14% weapon handling. You could go with uh, the Fox Sprayers if you wanna go with that. And you, you might use like a rifle instead of the AR, th that would be great as well. Because that way we would get that 8% extra damage to targets out of cover. So that would work as well pretty good. And last but not least, we have our holster, which is a circle of concert piece for that 10% SMG damage, 15% weapon damage. 10% headshot damage and 12.5 critical hit damage. Now, this build is just like an idea. You, you get an idea of what build I'm, I'm going for. You can definitely switch pieces. You can definitely switch like weapons. If you don't like rifles, if you don't like assault rifles, you can always go with the M1A, right? And then get this over here. Of course, you're gonna have less like armor, but still, you can you can do that you can get here for example get these gloves with armor on kill you, you you can change a lot of things right the 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 videos i'm making is so that you can get an idea of what builds you can go and if you have seen my previous build video videos are like not uh, i'm not showing meta builds the probably the only build that could be a meta build would be my bullet king build which is pretty much the same as it's a full red build right but instead i use a bullet king instead of an m1a so i think that the idea when i'm making those videos is to show you a type of build that you can go with that is not the meta and that you can still have fun and be successful anyways i'm gonna have some clips uh, of me in the dark zone here pve and then maybe some pvp even though i don't think i have any pvp clips because as i said I, i'm not finding any rogues to be honest and it's very rare the occasions that i will go rogue right so anyways uh, i hope that you enjoyed the video uh in the next two or three days i will make sure to upload another video where i'm gonna show you some i'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to survive as a solo player in the dark zone how to die less to rogues and yeah th things like that anyways thank you for watching if you enjoyed me please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more have a nice day bye bye